Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to edit a photo in four simple steps when it comes to Photoshop. So step number one is this very one that is importing and processing the raw file in Photoshop. So right here in camera raw, we simply want to correct the contrast and highlight issues regarding this very image. So I'll take the highlights and whites down and take the blacks down, open up the shadows and increase on the contrast of the image and open up the exposure a little bit of this very image. Once I'm done doing that, I'll simply come to my color mixer and for this, I'll, I'll play around with the greens to my taste or to my liking. So I prefer this kind of muted green and I'll play around with the yellows too. I feel like this looks better. So after this, I'm just going to come and open the image in Photoshop. So we are done with step number one regarding photo editing. So we are going to go straight to step number two. Step number two is basically going to be about the skin retouching so to retouch skin simply understand how frequency separation works so for this frequency separation deals with creating two layers from the background image so just drag and drop to the new layer icon to create two layers and you can rename this to color and you can rename the topmost layer to texture remember we are dividing the image into colors and textures so after this come the color layer and simply come to filter come to blur come to Gaussian blur, take the radius slider down, click on the skin area that has more textures and simply move up the radius slider, stop at that point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin details. So at about 7, I'll click OK, select the texture layer and make sure it is activated. So after doing this, simply come to image and come to apply image, then source the, the name of the photo, layer, select color layer, under Blending, select add, scale is 2, offset 0, click on invert because this is a 16 bit image. Click OK, change the blend mode from normal and change it to linear light. Select both layers and put them in a the group. So we are going to start retouching the skin. So come to the color layer, turn off the texture layer, come and get the mixer brush tool and make sure for your settings, hardness 0, soft round brush is selected, clean brush is selected. This second option that is saying Clean brush after each stroke is selected. Weight is 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on or is not checked. And simply start blending the tones in the image. So simply click and hold down and start moving the Mr. Brush tool and follow the shape of the models, body, or facial structures that you're trying to work on. So mix the mid tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone regarding the image or the photo that you're trying to work on. So I'll quickly blend like that. So you can increase or reduce on the size of the Mr. Brush tool by using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the Mr. Brush tool depending on where you are trying to mix or blend. So mix like that. And where these colors are transitioning from one color to another, just get a very small brush and blend. So you have to follow the shape or dimension of the model's body structure or facial structure so i'm just going to blend like that and you can see by blending we are now getting a very nice and smooth skin so i'm just going to blend so you left click and hold down and you blend so for the nose just do that quickly and blend like that and you can see how nice and easy this is so blend and make sure you work on every single area that has or contains skin tones in the image so you can see that I'm not zooming all the way in because I'm working on the image at a distance so that I can see or identify the uneven skin color transitions and I try to blend them using the mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to come to the hand and follow the direction of the hand just like that. So once I'm done blending, I'm just going to come and remove the pimples or blemishes. Remember, skin retouching is about perfecting the skin tones or the skin color and also perfecting the textures by removing pimples or blemishes from the model's skin. So I'm just going to do this quickly. And as you can see right now, we have a very nice and smooth looking kind of skin color or skin tone. So come the texture layer and turn it on. You can see before, after, before, after. After blending and you feel like you're comfortable with the results, you can simply come and get your texture layer, select it and come and get the spot, the 
clone stamp tool. So using the clone stamp tool, make sure the soft round brush is selected, the mode is normal opacity and flat 100%. Align this check and the sample is set to current layer and zoom all the way in by using command plus or you can use control plus on the keyboard and start removing pimples or blemishes. So to remove a pimple, hold on the option key on the keyboard or turn it for windows option and click on the clean area near the pimple. But make sure that the size of, of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. So option and click on the clean area option, click on the clean area near the pimple, release the option button and the click button and simply click over the pimple to eliminate it or cover the pimple with clean skin. So you have to do that for the rest of the pimples all over the photo that you're trying to edit in this case. So I'm just going to do this quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be the usual lengthy kind of videos on the channel. So just going to make this as brief as possible because like I said, I don't want it to be the usual long or lengthy kind of videos because Usually the audience retention is very low regarding longer videos. That is why I've decided to create or make this very brief kind of tutorial for those people that usually understand quickly and faster. So I'm just going to remove all these tiny imperfections regarding pimples, blemishes, acne and unwanted textures on the model skin using the clone stamp tool. And as you can see, we are almost done removing all these unwanted textures regarding pimples and blemishes. And for the next step, so basically we are now on step number two. Step number one was about the processing of the raw file. Step number two is about skin retouching. And step number three is basically going to be about color grading. Then we shall go to the final step, which is working or saving a very detailed image so you can see that we're done doing the skin retouching before after before after so after doing this you can now come and start color grading in order to color grade simply create a stamp visible layer so this is step number three and the final step so create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard shift alternate control e on the keyboard come to select and come to select subject so that you can select the edges of the subject in this case. Once you're done selecting the edges of the subject, you are simply going to come, create a new empty layer, change the blend mode from normal, and come to color. Come and get the brush tool, the soft round brush tool. Make sure soft round brush tool is selected. The mode is normal. Flow at 100% and opacity also at 100%. Hit enter or return and simply sample an area on the skin color that you want the rest of the skin tone to look like so or hold and option on the keyboard and sample that area so option and click to sample a color of our choice and start painting that color all over the model skin so for this step you are working on the skin tones and trying to create even a nice and uniform skin color for our subject or for our model in this case so you can see what we have but as we're doing this simply avoid painting on the hair or some areas that have or contain makeup so make sure you don't distort the original makeup color and don't paint on the hair yeah just take that into consideration or just put that at the back of your mind so i'm just going to quickly paint like that and i hope you can see what we have or the results right here so sometimes the color may not look nice and natural but I'll show you how you can perfect and make the colors look nice, natural, and a little bit more realistic. So I'm just going to reduce like that and paint on a very small area. So like I said, avoid the makeup areas and the lipstick areas. So in case you make a mistake, you can simply come and get the eraser tool. The shortcut for the eraser tool is E. So just get the eraser tool. The mode is set to brush opacity and flat 100%. And you can erase color from a given area like the eyebrows like i said you don't want to paint over the eyebrows in this case so i'm just going to eliminate color from the eyebrows before the brush e for the eraser tool so e for the eraser before the brush so keep on juggling between the eraser and the brush 
depending on the areas where you want paint color in the image. So right now we are done painting our color all over the skin area and we have ensured that we have painted all the areas. So after doing this, we are simply going to come to deselect the active selection by pressing Ctrl D. We can use Command D on the keyboard to deselect the active selection. And after doing this, just come to the opacity of this layer and reduce on the opacity so that the colors can look nice and natural and a little bit more realistic. So at about 68 is okay. And you can come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Change the blend the option from master to reds and come to lightness and take down the lightness so that you can reduce on the amount of oranges regarding the skin tone. And you can as well come to adjustments, come to selective color and select the blacks. And you can just add a little bit of science to the image and intensify on the amount of blacks to your taste or to your liking so after this we are just going to add a little bit more contrast to the image by coming to the levels and taking the black point in like that and we shall do the same for the whites to make the image pop a little bit more so you can as well go ahead and add or do eye whitening by simply coming create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come to Master, make sure it is selected. Take the saturation all the way down to around negative 79. Then press Ctrl I, or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Get the brush tool. Make sure you have white on the top color. And you can reset by pressing D on the keyboard in case you have any color that is not black and white right on the color swatches. So press D on the keyboard and make sure white is on top by using the arrow key. And you can now zoom into the image and paint on the white area of the eye to whiten the eye just like that and this is going to make you have a better white eye for your subject so like this we are now done retouching and color grading this very image so you can see before and after for the retouch and color grading of this very image in case it is looking too orange and too unnatural come and create another hue and saturation adjustment layer Come to the reds and come to lightness and you can take down the lightness even more to your taste or to your liking. After that, simply come and save the image. So we are going into step number four, which is about saving the photo or saving the image. So just come right here to file, export and come to export as. And right here under file settings, make sure it is set to JPEG. Quality set to the maximum, which is seven for this case. Make sure your sample is set by cubic sharper. And scroll down to your color space. Make sure convert sRGB and embed color profile have been checked. And click on export. And choose where you want to save or save the exported image. So this is how you can simply learn how to edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. I hope you have learned a thing or two from this very video. Don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating.